Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a gift guide for your toddlers. So I know we've got Christmas right around the corner. For us, we've got a birthday. Mikey's having his two-year-old birthday at the end of November and then of course Christmas. So I've been doing lots of research on the best toddler gifts for 2020. I want to leverage my experience so far with toddler toys as well as the research that I've recently done so that you can get the most bang out of your buck for toddler toys. One of my pet peeves is spending my hard earned money on a toy to come home and see that they play with them for five, 10 minutes and then they're, they're done and it doesn't really capture their attention or the quality of the toy is just so bad that it doesn't hold up, right? Like it can't, it needs to be rugged for a toddler. So let's get right into it. I've got lots of great ideas for you. Number one is the step two roller coaster. Guys, a roller coaster for a toddler. That is just amazing. Mikey does have this already and he's been playing with it loves it. He plays with it also in just also non-conventional ways and then the way it's actually intended to be played with. So it's so fun to just watch him. He will now get on the little car by himself and we're inserting a picture here of the roller coaster. It has a little car that goes down a platform um, and he enjoys you know, we used to help him get on the car and he'd go down the platform. Now he's to the point that he can get on it all by himself. He'll also just push the car and watch it go down the platform. Um, he gets a kick out of just watching it go down. He will take his little um, toy trucks, his little monster trucks, and also just push them and watch them go and roll down. So a fantastic toy, excellent gift idea. Next, is the Little Tykes 8-in-1 Adjustable Playground. So 2020 has been a year, oh my goodness. But a lot of kids um, have not had the, the stability of having access to a playground from daycares or schools. Schools and daycares have been on and off and with this COVID thing, like, you know, playgrounds have been closed and then they're open. So just having the convenience of having a playground in the backyard has been fantastic. This eight in one adjustable playground, it is a little bit pricey, um, but I love that it has the flexibility of being configured in a number of ways. So depending on your yard and how your yard is, you know, set up and um, structured, you can move the slides around to different areas of the playground. It is um, just made for a toddler. So excellent gift idea. Next is the Strider bike. The Strider bike has been all the rage lately and it's not something I was familiar with before. Definitely not the traditional bike that I was used to from growing up, but I've done some research. It, it looks amazing. Some of our neighbors have them and the kids really seem to enjoy them. I have purchased one for Mikey, but he has not yet used it. So um, I'm really looking forward to this bike. If you want a review once we've been able to use it, leave me a message down below. I'm happy to message you and let you know how our experience went with the Strider bike. But, um, you know, from the research that I've done, I have seen that if they get you know on one of these strider bikes they get used to using the strider bike once they're ready to learn how to use a traditional bike their learning process will go that much faster they'll just be able to pick it up a lot faster because they've gotten used to the balance uh, required of actually using one of these bikes don't forget to get a helmet maybe some knee pads um and um let's move right into the next one Next, I've got magnet tiles. Magnet tiles, magnet tiles, magnet tiles. That is all the buzz um, these past couple of months. Moms swear by these magnet tiles. Now, I will tell you, I went online to see what these magnet tiles were, what all the buzz was about, and they're just these little plastic tiles that have magnets on them and they, they look really cool. They're vibrant colors. Um, We'll, we'll insert, of course, everything will be linked down below. Um, 
but I just could not get over the price point of these little plastic tiles. It, I couldn't, I couldn't justify it because it's over a hundred dollars for these little plastic tiles. So I kept looking into it and I saw the Picasso tiles had excellent reviews. I will caution you that um, you don't want to get some of the, you know, just any plastic magnet tile. Some of them don't have very strong magnets and I've heard will just cause frustration and nobody needs a frustrated toddler, okay? The Picasso tiles are more affordable than some of the other brands out there, but has excellent reviews. So I think this will make a great gift. Speaking of magnets, um, the this is the Magnet Movers um, Kit and it, it has a bunch of different toys in here that all um, are using magnets, right, to enter entertain your child. And so it's the magic of magnets and that pull of the magnet that will keep them entertained for quite some time. Next, um, I've got the Melissa and Doug Jumbo Cardboard Blocks. So blocks are a staple in any kid's toy chest and you know something that Mikey has had um, since he was an infant but first he started out with the soft blocks and then he moved on to you know a little bit of a hard block he had the nesting blocks now we're taking it up a notch right he's bigger he stands tall and he you know his towers are getting even bigger and so now um, here are the jumbo cardboard blocks they are cardboard though so you know I've got that peace of mind knowing that he can't easily get hurt with them I think he'll have a lot of fun with these and um, they'll make a great gift idea. A gigantic keyboard play mat, and I'm gonna insert the picture. It, again, it's something we've purchased from Mikey but not yet given him. He is really getting into music and um, you know, enjoying that he can create music and he's starting to sing along with songs and um, I think that this huge piano giant mat will um, help him stay active, step on those keys, and, and also really appreciate the fact that he is making music. Next, um, an obstacle course with, um, with tunnels. So Mikey's had a ball pit since he was an infant and he's really enjoyed it. But now again, we're taking it up a notch and getting him an obstacle course. I really like that this obstacle course is collapsible. You can put it away, you can bring it out into your backyard on a, on a beautiful day. But if it's rainy or cold, which again, we're getting into those winter months, you can pull it inside, make some room, and still have a way for your toddler to stay active um, and go through those tunnels and you know enjoy that obstacle course. I think they'll have lots of fun with this obstacle course. Next, um, oh, don't forget, get the balls for the obstacle course. Um, the same balls that you would in a, in a ball pit, you know, for this particular um, obstacle course does not come included. So make sure to purchase those. And of course, I'll link everything down below. The Munchkin Fishing Bath Toy. Um, so, you know, we really, our sanity just really depends on us getting Mikey outside as much as possible. We get him out at least three times a day and on days that are rainy or just not the best weather, those are the most challenging days for us. So we've got to get really creative and find activities that we can do inside that still keep him engaged and really entertained. This munchkin um, fishing I know is meant for the bath, but you can fill up the tub and have your child stand outside of the tub with this fishing kit and go fishing. So these little um, fish have magnets and then it comes with a fishing pole that makes sound, which toddlers love anything that makes noise, and they can use their imagination to go fishing in the bathtub. Okay, the Melissa and Doug first um, wooden stamp set. Again, I am a huge fan of Melissa and Doug. Um, this stamp set, so Mikey um, does a, something related to arts and crafts every single day, whether it be markers, crayons, um, you know, just having something that he will sit and just focus on and use his fine motor skills. 
So this is something that I am excited to add into his rotation. This um, wooden stamp set is made for little hands. It's so cute. It's got little farm animals, but it's got, um, you know, he can easily identify what the stamp is with the picture and it's easy for him to hold and it stands. So if he sets it down, it will stand on its own. And then, you know, it's got the ink um, pad, a great, great um, gift idea for a toddler. And sticking with the Melissa and Doug theme is the latch puzzle. This is a Melissa and Doug latch puzzle. And as you can see, it's got different latch options so that they can practice, you know, latching and unlatching. Um, it's got really vibrant colors. It's wood, it's sturdy, it has really held up. He has been playing with this um, for a few months and he really enjoys it. Okay. Okay, Mel again, Melissa and Doug. Um, his shape puzzle again all wooden very vibrant colors he loves this puzzle and every kid needs a set of puzzles right so the melissa and doug his favorites are the ones that make that have sound and um also this one has really helped with learning his shapes he seems to really um, like the, the colors and the patterns of this puzzle. The Mega Blocks Big Building Blocks. So these are um, sturdy, they're big, they're, le they're like Legos, but they're bigger, right? So ideal for a toddler and they won't be choking on these. And honestly, it's just a lot more pleasant for a parent when you know they're stepping on Legos. These are better, like you can just see them and they're more pleasant. So yeah, this is a must have. Okay, this one, this sink is fantastic. This is a play sink. But what makes this so awesome is that it has a pump system with running water. So the water is on the very bottom and we have given this to Mikey. He has played with it. The very first time he played with this, a solid hour playing with this. You guys know how difficult it is to get a toddler to do anything for that amount of time. So um, again, it never runs out. The water just keeps pumping. The toddler's able to turn on and off the water. It comes with a set of dishes, a fork, a knife. It has um, even dish soap with a brush. So highly, highly, highly recommend um, this play sink for any toddler. Next is a learning tower. I'm gonna insert a picture of this learning tower. So learning towers are a little bit pricey, but highly, highly recommended. Mikey does have a learning tower and it helps him to feel a part of what we're doing in the kitchen. How many times have you seen a mom in the kitchen lugging around her kid on her hip, um, whether she's cooking or washing dishes and trying to multitask and, you know, has her child because, you know, the kid wants to be there, wants to be, you know, with mom or with dad. Um, interacting and this will save your back trust me this is an absolute must-have not only you know a, a lifesaver for the parents but the child learns so much he is in there he is looking at the fruits and the vegetables and he's doing his little pretend cutting with the fruits and vegetables and helping to wash things and you know you know helping to wash dishes and it just helps him be more a part of what we're doing um without us sacrificing our backs okay so excellent excellent gift the learning tower let's um move right along to again back to melissa and doug this is the easel okay <clears throat> lots of kids have easels um but i have primarily seen the big tall easel, right? It occupies a lot of space. And before you know it, all these kid toys are taking over your entire house. So what I really like about this easel is that it is a um, tabletop easel. So it just opens up, you place it right 
on the on the table and it has a little compartment here so that you can put crayons markers you know whatever you can tell this one has been very well loved um, it's got the dry erase board so that they can use dry erase on here also you know of course it's magnetic so they can take their magnets and place them right on here it's very entertaining and then on the back you've got your chalkboard so that they can use traditional chalk or chalk markers and um, as you can see here it's collapsible so super easy to just fold it and store it away and in a previous vid video i mentioned my toy toy rotation system so it's super easy to put this away and then just you know take it out um, whenever we want to use it um, if you are interested in that toy rotation system i will link the video down below so that you can see that next is the latch caterpillar this caterpillar oh my gosh so cute i mean it's just adorable but um again the colors nice and vibrant um to capture their attention and then it's got latches all up and down the caterpillar so they can practice um their fine motor skills and opening and closing the the different latches and then um up here it also has a zipper that they can practice opening and closing and it actually does have a little pocket in here in case they want to store something away but super cute they have lots of different animals available on amazon so um you can pick your favorite one next is musical instruments so i mentioned that mickey's really into music he's had um a musical instrument set since he was about the age of one and loves it it comes with like bells and um you know different types of bells and a little xylophone and a tambourine and um little egg shakers a bunch of different um musical instruments um i'm gonna include a picture here very good quality and um you know when he was one he couldn't really blow into like the little recorder or saxophone but now that he is almost two you know he is having a blast using that and um, a good music instrument is a must-have for any toddler next is um kinetic sand um kinetic sand um is very good for um sensory play and sensory play is very popular for um kids this age and so um you can get the kinetic sand but to go along with that i would recommend different you know tools to use with the sand um so they can they have different molds that they can use and different little rollers and um little um cutters that they can use with the sand it's very entertaining and um i have to show you guys this is an inflatable mat that i purchased and you can lay it flat it needs to it needs a little bit more air you can see this has been used over and over and over again but the really nice thing is that for sensory play this is portable and so on a nice day you can set it outside um, if you have a table um, Mikey has a picnic table and so I like to put this outside on a picnic table where he can use his kinetic sand on here and it keeps everything confined um, onto this mat and um, it's portable so you can you know close it with the velcro on both sides and you can even put the sand and different toys there in the middle and then close it up and it's got two little handles so if you're going you know to um the grandparents or you're going to the park or you're going somewhere you can put the kinetic sand the toys and just carry it away and it's nice and portable on a rainy day you can um use it inside so if he has a little um table a little craft table or something um set it out and this is really good for containing the mess along with that mat um is play-doh and play-doh is a great gift option for toddlers i will tell you that i was very tempted to get the larger portions of play-doh um the big buckets of play-doh but these are these little ones are perfectly portioned and sized for little toddler hands mikey loves these and he uses again that mat you can use for any type of sensory play whether it be play-doh um rice you know anything that you're using for that sensory play you can also include a fun play-doh accessory kit next a chair so right at this age they're really coming into their own and embracing their independence so having a chair that's specific to just them 
is really special and um for Mikey, we have a bean bag. He loves his bean bag. It's just really easy. He doesn't have to be in a proper sitting position all the time. He can lounge and he can just lay on it. He can, um, you know, use it as a big pillow or he can just kind of lean on it. It's just really nice. So just having a chair, whether it be like a structured chair or a bean bag chair, but a chair that is, you know, smaller and specific to your toddler. Next, a pegboard. This is the Schoolsy Mushroom Art. It's it's just a really cool toy. It's almost like, um, what is it? The, the Light Bright for older kids, but the toddler version. So it is a board and it's got different inserts in the, in the back here is a picture and you can change up that picture. And it's got these um, colorful pegs that they put in. Now, initially when he first got this, it was just about the fine motor skills. I'm picking up these pegs and inserting them into these holes was really fun for him. And now, you know, once they, um, get to the point where they can identify colors and they can do color matching then they can actually um, create the picture that is inserted here and insert the correct color pegs into the board to match the picture super great um, gift for any toddler okay flashcards Okay, when I first purchased these flashcards, I thought they were gonna be an educational tool, and they are, but I had no idea that he was gonna become so obsessed with them. He uses these as a toy. It's one of his favorite toys. He gravitates a lot towards books and flashcards, and you know he likes to um, just sort them and name them and he will point to them and just lay them out on the floor so they're a lot of fun for him this particular set comes with four um flash cards or four packs of flash cards one is the alphabet one's numbers one is first words and then colors and shapes this helped tremendously with mikey getting to recognize the alphabet his numbers um, and just it really helped to expand his vocabulary. So it's highly, highly recommended. Dot markers. Dot markers are not anything that I had encountered until recently with my toddler. Um, so he's got crayons, he's got markers, and he loves them. But dot markers, um, he is most intrigued by, and I think it's because the edge of the dot marker is just so much thicker than your traditional marker, which has a much finer point. And so obviously the color transfer here is gonna be much more impactful on a piece of paper. And the motion, right? So um, the motion of the dot marker is up and down versus you know the back and forth of the traditional marker. And he, you know, it's good to mix things up and just keep it, you know, different for him so that. Um, he doesn't get bored of things easily. And so I'll switch it up. These are amazing. Um, they don't make a mess very easily, right? So um, he really enjoys these. They also have activity books that are specifically made for dot, dot markers on Amazon. And those are fantastic. Okay, a uh, teepee tent. The teepee is just so cute um i mean it's just it's so um nice to look at it it's just it's almost like a decor piece in your toddler's room it also encourages reading and so that is fantastic anything that encourages you know something that helps with education is an added bonus so a tp tent makes for a fantastic toddler gift and last but not least books you cannot go wrong with books, especially if you do get that TP tent, go ahead and, you know, wrap up um, a new set of books for your toddler to read. We purchase books very frequently, also seasonal books. So depending on, you know, the next holiday that's coming up, we like to get books to introduce them to vocabulary specific to that particular holiday. So, you know, for example, Halloween, we were the bats and the pumpkins and the witches and he is taking that all in and it helps so that when he does see it in his environment and 
um, he recognizes it and he gets excited when he recognizes things from a book or um, so anyway, I want to share with you um, kidsbooks.com because books can be very expensive and this has been the absolute best place I have found for purchasing kids books. You can find them on kidsbooks.com at a fraction of the price and they are brand new kids books. So check out that website and um, yeah, this completes our toddler gift guide for 2020. I hope this was very helpful for you and you got lots of ideas. I tried to include lots of um, gift ideas that were gender neutral and also at various price points so that you had lots of things to pick from. And um, we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, um, and feel free to leave me a comment down below. Thanks, we'll see you next time.